Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are talking about my next step in my writing process. This is the fourth video that I've done regarding my writing process. If you missed the first three videos, they are linked below. Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of time explaining what today's video is about because I've explained it in the first three videos, but just a quick recap. It is a series I'm doing on how I go from idea to a published book every step of the way. So today we are on my next step. And my next step is actually, I've been using my book companion journal to get to know my characters a little more. Today is November 8th. In case you missed it, the last video, which I recorded on Saturday, I believe it was. On Friday, Saturday, I think it was Saturday. I had a headache then. I still have a headache, it's three days. So I haven't really done any writing. And this is NaNoWriMo and I'm supposed to have a first, I'm not supposed to, I wanted to have a first draft done by the end of the month. Not sure it's gonna happen, but I will be happy if I get a first draft done before the year is over. Because if you did not know and did not watch the videos, I am writing a Christmas novel. So I really want to write the bulk of it, the first draft, just get to know the story down um, during the Christmas season because I think once the Christmas season passes, all the feels are not going to be as alive as they are right now during the season. So I want to make sure that at least I get those elements of the novel done before the season is over. So if even if I don't get the first draft by, no, by the end of November, which I'm still going to aim for, um, I'm hoping to get it done by at least the end of the year. So back to what I was doing which is getting to know my characters a little more and there are four things that i'm going to focus on when it comes to each of my characters and a lot of these the the side characters are not going to need i don't need to know this much information for but for my main characters i do need to know a little bit more so i am writing dual perspective i am i am writing from a male perspective and a female perspective so the things I'm going to focus on are backstory, physical description, personality traits, and typical routines. So that is what I was doing here. I went back in and in my first video, the initial idea, I had written down a list of characters that I wanted to um, include in the novel and so far these are sticking in my mind so I went ahead the first thing I did is I went by and started writing their names I had the two main characters names already thought out the other characters I didn't have any idea what I wanted to name them but they just came pretty quickly I didn't spend a lot of time as I've done in the past like it's been really hard for me to name characters in the past I don't know why but this time they just pretty much came to me and I went with the first name that came and they fit perfectly so now that I have their names actually selected, I went and let me tell you again, this is Trevor's story that I am writing and Trevor is a character in my novel, Choose Us. He was a side character that I introduced in this novel and this novel will be a standalone novel. It's not gonna be a continuation of this, but if you want to know Trevor a little more before you get into this novel, you can read a little bit about him here. and. So I know a lot about Trevor already, so I wanted to talk a little bit more or get to know the female character in the book first. Next. So my the character's name is Eloise, and I know that's an old time name, but I liked it and that's why I really went with it. So what the first thing I did is I wrote her backstory, and then I went on to write the Eloise's uh, physical description and other things. So that is my next step in the process so what i want to do now is take you on my computer like i've done in the past and show you a little bit of what i mean by physical descriptions and the things that i include in case these are some ideas that you guys can come up with on your own if you know i've done a lot of research and looked at other people's like what they write as far as describing your characters and okay so what I recommend is if you know what they are, don't write questions that you're just going to say no to because <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That's just wasting time. So, for example, if I know that playing sports 
or liking sports is not going to even be mentioned in my novel or it's not going to be a topic of conversation I don't need to ask the question does my character like sports no because what does it matter that is that that is irrelevant to the story however I am writing a Christmas story so maybe I'll ask a question how does she feel about Christmas or does she love Christmas I may say yes she loves Christmas no she hates Christmas now that's gonna play a part in my book so don't just go off the internet or even some of the questions that I'm asking here if they're not important to your story make sure you if you're unsure if they're gonna play a part in your story then go ahead and ask the question but if not just leave it out so let's just go ahead and jump on my computer and show you what I am doing and then we can go from there okay so this is where we're gonna start our character profile I still don't oh, capitals I still don't have her last name so we're just gonna go with character name Eloise and then the first thing I am going to do is I am going to go with age I'm gonna say 29 next thing I'm gonna go is hair oh sorry guys like I said I have a headache and then I'm gonna say long British hair and then eyes these are just things that you guys probably are you know you probably have your own template if you don't already have one skin color I'm just gonna call pale that's not necessary but you know I don't even know how to spell pale right now I am not at my best <laughs> okay so height I'm gonna say five five oh my gosh five is it this way I don't even know okay nationality I'm just gonna say American then I'm gonna go with occupation medical student then we're going to go with marital status single then we're gonna go with, then we're gonna get into outside of, you know, now we're getting more into her, her life a little bit, her, you know, she's got siblings, she's got one older sister. This is important for the story, that's why I'm writing it. So we're gonna ask distinguished marks, I could've put that out there. I just thought about that later. Um, a few freckles. And we're going to go um, <laughs> level of grooming. It's important because of um, this, her personality. So very, uh, very neat. Um, then we're going to talk about her style of clothing. Again, it's going to play a part in my novel. So that's why I'm putting it here. And she wears lots of cardigans. <laughs> then we're going to talk about uh, her speech. And we're going to say that she doesn't curse. And then we're going to talk about um, her default expression because I think that's important for novels when you're writing something to kind of come back to their natural or describe the way their face usually looks. Um, so I'm going to call her pensive. Um, where did she grow up? We're going to say North Carolina, right? Because that's where I'm at right now and that's the story I'm writing. Um, okay, so then we're going to go into other things. Is she an introvert? Intro. Ugh. Sorry, introvert or extrovert. We're gonna call her an extrovert. Um, uh, what is her, okay, actually I'm gonna write the other one down. Does, she love does she like Christmas she loves Christmas um, so then we can go into other questions that I haven't really answered yet but like what are their strengths this is important to know as you're writing your story um, what are the things that I write here? What do you want most out of life? How do you feel about love? How do you, how does she react to change? So 
So basically, as you can see, it is just a normal character profile setup. There's nothing special here. I am just going to, this is just giving me an idea of my character as I think of more things it's actually bugging me so let's just change it as I think of more things I will definitely come back to this and add more just so that I if I have a question for example food is she allergic to anything oh maybe I wrote it down here maybe she's allergic to something that's going to make up a, a point in the novel so this is where I'll write it and this is where I'll go back to it including obviously in my book companion journal all right you guys that is it for today's video I'm sorry that it's short and I'm sorry that it was all over the place I'm not feeling that great but I really wanted to get this video out to you because this is really my next step in writing a novel and like I said before I really want to be in the moment and recording when I'm doing it and even though I started working on it I started I as you can see I did record myself doing it so that you guys would get a feel for how I'm actually working on this novel. I am hoping that I will get some words down this week. Now that I'm, I'm going to go back in now and do the, sorry, I'm going to go back in now and do some of the same things for the, my side characters. I'm not going to go in that much detail. It's not that important to me. Uh, about where you know some of the parents grew up and all that stuff if it's not important to the story I'm not going to waste my time writing about it but that is what I really want you to focus on is focus on what it's important to your story and your characters don't get sidetracked with what questions I'm writing or what other questions you find on the internet make sure that you are asking the questions that you need to know for your story Okay, well, remember to go back in and watch the first three videos in this series. The playlist is linked below. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new video with more things that I've done on here. And hopefully I'll get to writing in the next couple days, if not today. I don't think tonight. My headaches usually last long, so probably tomorrow or the day after. But I will be back with a brand new video on this series. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified when a new video goes up. And I will see you guys again in a brand new video next time. Until then, stay safe.